Hello and welcome to Lagos Voice. I'm Sydney Okafo. We're starting today's program with a popular Aswani market. Road users in Aswani market are quite upset with the terrible condition of the road, which frequently cause traffic and occasionally cause heavy duty trucks and containers to break down on that road. The few abandoned despite the fact that the road is an industrial area where taxes are paid to the government. Therefore, they are pleading with the local and the state governments to assist in fixing the road. In the meantime, let's hear what they have to say. The ever busy Aswani market, situated in Istola local council area of Lagos State, is well known for sales of fairly used items at very cheap prices. From clothes and shoes to electronics, the market hosts traders from all over who sell their wares to consumers searching for a good bargain. Aswani Market is also an industrial site hosting some of the big names in the industry. However, the roads leading to this popular market tell a different story. Despite the close proximity to the local government sectariat, the portal widowed road from the Aswani Junction is a complete asshole for commuters and vehicle owners. Road users who spoke to TV360 Nigeria lament the deplorable state, saying numerous calls to the Solar Local Council Development Area to rehabilitate the road have proved abortive. I've applied it over five years now, and I understand that uh, wherever some container pass, the container can fall down. And when you fall, you cause a big hold up. It can even take uh, five hours before move to move. So we are praying for government, asking, begging, pleading them to come and help us repair the road. Because it has been a long time we are suffering for this road. Even our vehicle are not in a good order. When you drive small time, the things scatter because of the bad road. So we are begging government to come help us and do the road. Too much. He have break my my back also. That I, I spent almost uh, going to hundred thousand. To the first one break because of the, the if I bend, my my tire will bend one side like this. The thing will cut. So I have experiences. That's why I say I want to be the poor person to to take government. And the, the thing is not funny because it make people stress. Sometimes you see traffic from that place to there. From like as one day tomorrow is Tuesday. As one day, you cannot pass here because the hold up is too much because of the bad road. If it's rainy season, you can't stand here. As here is this, you can't. If you reach down, that down is very worse than here. Many trucks used to fall down there. Many. And it therefore take about many hours before they come and remove them. Can take five hours. A many traffic block many people coming from work going from work we block if we all here with the standard no movement when the truck fall down we'll be here this road please we are pleading we are pleading from the government to help us for the road this road is too very bad we are not enjoying it why in my country i can't enjoy the road of my country why it's too bad this is my country, I can't enjoy it. If I'm coming, driving coming, I reach here, my mind will change again. Say, ah, this road I am now, oh. I will start, hold. my searing will go like this, and go like this. I will start dragging searing because of the road. The road is not good. If I'm coming, if I enter this road, coming with my boss, I will start holding my searing. It will be shaking me, because I know that this, Entrance, I'm coming. The road is too bad for me. Many, several times, I always. This morning now, as I'm coming this morning, I'm saying this morning, as I'm coming this morning now, my bus are break down for down there. Is a break down for down there. I call the mechanic to come and help me there. It's there now. You will see it there. My bus is there. Please, we are pleading. Oh, the government should help us. Please just for the road, for us to even benefit from the government of the road, then they should help us for the road. Traders say the poor state of the road is negatively impacting their businesses due to delayed travel time. 
Increased traffic on the road also causes a lot of damage to vehicles. The poor condition of this road have really impacted my business and the way heavy duty trucks and containers break down or fall off is alarming. We thank God that it has not fallen on any vehicle. However, we are pleading with the government to help us fix the road. The reason I am pleading with the government is that once the road is fixed, commuters plying this route will find it easy to patronize me. But commuters don't really ply this route frequently anymore. But yes, last month, container fell down here, and every, that was a uh, uh, market day. Early morning, around that kind to six in the morning. God so kind. Some women that used to put their goods in that place, they have not come that time. But we, we are here then. You see, the content, there are about five or six of them, a container that want to enter into this warehouse. Three, three have entered, and it remain three to enter. The other one was struggled to enter. They try, 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 no way. We are here that day, the next, we just see the thing, just woo, boom. All the goose, all the goose, everything inside the container is spoiled. And which is too bad. Did you know how many millions in that container? And uh, I know that, that the owner of that container always pay his tax. The owner of that container always pay his tax. And he know how much that container costs for him to clear it before. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I cry for that man that day. Everything is spoiled. And the other day, in terms of um, election, I think he was passing here. We are here the day Abtuku was passing here with his, uh, um, uh, his guests. They pass here with this rough road. And we are happy to say, ah, at least government, they don't they notice this place. So they support, and, and maybe now they will start doing something concerning this road. But to my greatest surprise, since then, they have not done anything. It is too bad. Please, they should come and help us. They should come and help us. They should try come and help us. We are begging them in the name of God. They should just come and do something about this road. How I wish rain will fall. If rain fall, my brother, he will not pass this place. The other day, the other day, the other day, because of how bad this road is, um, the other um, uh, ocean carry one smog here. I'm telling you that day, you see, Please, they should try. They should try. They should just have mercy. I know they have swallowed the. the I know they have swallowed the mouth of the lion. But should, they should. They should. Please, we are begging them and begging them. They should please come and help us and repair this great road. Although there have been communal efforts at fixing the roads with stones and sands to ease traffic, but that is not enough. The people say there's an urgent need for the state's government intervention. It's only individual can come out and feed some things. We be transporter. We will sometimes will contribute ourselves, our motor, use our motor, pass stone and feed so that we can see where we can put our legs and move on. And this road has caused the damages for our motors since over. This is my third motor now. And it has caused a lot of damages in my vehicle. You can see my vehicle was brought down because of this vehicle. The pothole and all that thing. If the rainy season come like this, we cannot see where we can put our leg. This road is very bad. We are begging the government to come and do something about this road. Please. We are suffering. This road has caused damages to our many motors. You not only my own, my colleagues. Yesterday, trade broke down here. Today, my own broke down here because of one pothole I enter. I have spent a lot of money. Money I could not spend, money I will use and spend, uh, sustain my family and feed my family. I put it in vehicle. Every week we used to maintain our motor because of the bad road and see it. Governments used to pass here but they don't want to do anything. We are pleading the government to please come and help us and fix the road so that we all that applied for this road will enjoy. We are helping the masses. So the masses will not be complaining about this road again so that we can run smoothly and less our expenses for our own vehicle. While calling on the state government to come to their aid, these worried residents urge companies in their area to be socially responsible for contributing to the rehabilitation of the roads.
In the last three years, we have built a multi-purpose center, which is the envy of all in our constituency. And I can tell you that the people who are living there are already enjoying it. Guy, do you think what this man just said is true? See, I seriously doubt. I'm sure it's one of those that are silly lies. And wait a Do you know there's a way to find out if these things he's saying is true or not? Ah. This is the Construct app. It gives people like us a sure way to track implementation of constituency projects. It gives valid and verified information on location of projects, amounts allocated, amounts funded, the level of job done, and even the profiles of concerned legislators. You and I can post directly on this app. Are you serious? This is the go-to app if you want to know how our commonwealth is being expended by the government. Wow. Let's even see if what this man said is true. Show me. The Construct app is developed by Other People Nigeria with support from USAID and is available on both Google Play Store and Apple Store. Eh? And it's true. <laughs> of course, I told you. Corruption not in my country. Hello. Hello, Haji. Hello, Haji. Is it, right now I'm in Abuja. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Hello? Adamu! Right now I'm in Kano. Yes. When I get back, I will just call you. Look, what is wrong with you? I'm talking on the phone and you are gesticulating and doing. What's wrong with you? Daddy, where exactly are we as we speak? Are you alright? This is Lagos. Well, you just lied to someone that we are in Abuja. Keep quiet. Eh? Who told you you can tell an elderly person is lying? Daddy, you just lied. And by lying, you are raising corrupt children for the future of Nigeria. That is corruption, not in my country. Corruption, not in my country. Welcome back. That is the popular Swanee Market Road where commuters are pleading with the government to come to their aid. However, we will keep a close watch and see how things unfold there. Still on issue of poor inner roads in Lagos. But this time, our journey takes us to a suburb in Ilamoshe community, a suburb within the Ejibu local government area, which has become worrisome for motorists and residents of that area. They feel that it has impacted in their businesses significantly. Residents say the inner road has been neglected for quite some time and are finding it uncomfortable anymore. Let's take a listening to what they have to say. The first thing you see when you arrive in Biliaminu Akinsoya, Tobias Alarabi, and Taiwo Akinsoya streets, all in Ilamoshe community, Ejibo, are the clusters of shops occupied by business owners going about their commercial activities. These communities also provide access roads to other locations, such as the Mortala Mohammed International Airport, Hajao Estate, Okiafa Isolo, and Ejibo, with ease. However, the inner roads of the communities are in a terrible state of disrepair. The challenges we are facing here are just the bad roads. It's very, very bad. And we really need the intervention of the government to please assist us. Like, for instance, look at this road behind me. Look at this road behind me. Those people who are living on these streets, if they are coming, they will have to go and turn like two streets before going to their main destination. So please, we just need the intervention of the government. They should just help us. We're going through challenges more than, more than eight years. More than eight years, yes. Most landlords in this area, they do contribute. Maybe they just fill the road. But that is not good enough. So we just need the government's intervention. If they can just tie the road for us to be good. Because this also is a major road. At least people coming from NNPC, they can come through here. They will link it to uh, Keno Road. People coming from Isolo, they can link it through Okiafa. They will come through to Okiafa. If they are going to NNPC, they can link it also. So we just please, we are pleading with the government to help us. We are for the past 20 something years. Yeah, and from my experience about this area, this area was a very cool and quiet, good looking area. When we parked in here, that was about 25 years ago. And because then, most of the local government chairman that comes to the council used to come and grade the roads, all the inner roads, and everything is motorable. Like from where we're coming from, from Taiwaki Sonia, down to Tobias, to Alaribe side, to NNPC, you can drive easily, 
You can have access to Jack on the Gate, Bungalow, NNPC to Ikotu. But for the past eight years, the present regime have not come around to do a single road. Talk less of even nothing. Talk less of grading, no grading, nothing. And that's why you can see that the old roads are bad now. They are not motorable. Residents say the poor state of the inner roads have negatively affected the value of property in the neighborhood. Helping the revenue, as in for landlords, to boosting, as in you know, the, the rates they are seeing. So it keeps dropping. Because in any offer that they offer you, you don't, you don't have a choice. Because some people say, Okay, let's just manage. We know what then uh, is not uh, the development is not is affecting development in terms of marketing what you have the value of your property. Assuming this house is maybe it's worth uh, 50 million or so, if there's no good connection of roads or so, the value will drop. Um, is it do affect their cars? Then with that the we say that maybe two years or three years, uh, let me take off. The situation is worse when it rains. It is terrible for commuters and motorists to navigate the waterlogged roads. Like we're in Adeshugba now. Adeshugba have been having problem of erosion. And because nothing is done, and that's why you can see that the road is cut off from the community. Nobody can pass there. Even trekking on the road is very, very not comfortable. You can see yourself. And that's why we are saying that if you can see something like this in Lagos, when we go to other states, we see good roads in our roads linking, linking the community. But it's just very shameful that here in Lagos, in Ejibuya City, we can see this kind of road that is very cut off from the community. Too bad. There's no proper drainage on the roads. Then... Um, the uh, the flood uh, the flood uh, flood flood is really affecting us, which uh, most time is it doesn't flow well. Assuming uh, there is a proper drainage, uh, easy flow of water we we go. So then, uh, secondly, we are pleading on the government that they should come to our rescue and support us in a sense of engaging people. You know, in terms of uh, environmental sanitation, they should try and bring in the sanitation back so that at least everywhere is going to be clean. Stakeholders in the community call on the government to come to their aid urgently. Before the road getting to worse, but I'm so happy today uh, you people come. I believe the new government will do something worse than what that Namoto cannot pass for many years. Our business is not moving, anything is not moving again. We are just staying for sure, we are not making money. And we are still paying money for the landlord. And there is no interest for a long time. So I pray people coming today to develop the area. Our business will move, things will go on, life will still continue. Sometimes the debt payment we cannot pay because we are not getting anything from, from the road. Motor does pass, human being, even the legs cannot pass. So by the time finishing the road, We'll be able to pay the lock of shop, trade permit, because business is moving. For some time, business is not moving. So I expect you to come and help us. As you are coming, I'm so happy. I believe people will just come back and go empty hand. Maybe the next some days, they'll come back and do the work. I'm so happy. Yeah, this is a dry season. During dry season, it'll be worse off. Race is worse off. Some, some streets here are almost cut off. Maybe, 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 maybe. So, we hope, but this is your... Uh, enlightenment for, for them to know apply to them, maybe they can come to our aid. The only thing that we I can observe that was really done is this major road connection between uh, Kenu and our area. And that's the only thing that, that they can, you can see that uh, government have been able to put across. And it may be uh, January 27 road, not, no, 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 nothing again, nothing again so far. The efforts of the landlords and the, and the CDA have, have been able to give the, the, uh, the environment a palatable, I say just a palatable environment. But if the government comes out here with good roads, 
You understand me? It might be maybe lighting too. You understand me? Everybody, they, 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 they either be more secured, and and that will attract more people. We really, we should we should, we should be able to take, take advantage of being near the, the airport. Yes, to be able to enhance our uh, uh, our hands around this area, even our commerce around this area. But just because of bad roads, this has not been like that. But the hope with, with this your effort, Alice, coming to uh, air from us, going back to help from the government, maybe the government will come to our aid. We appreciate it. Definitely, we appreciate it. Community leaders claim to have written to the government, but all they get in return are promises. But in the meantime, they resort to self-help by patching the roads with stones as temporary measures to keep them accessible while they wait for the government's intervention. Welcome back. You heard it from them. Let's hope the government comes to their aid urgently. Thanks for watching. That's all we have on today's episode of Lagos Voices. See you next time and bye for now.